coming up next to the stage, uh, we have uh, a spoken word artist who is looking forward to connect with our community. And uh, she goes by the name of Sienna Marie. Sienna, welcome. And is it your first time too, Sienna? Yeah, this is my first time. Hey, big up. Nice big to up, meet everyone. Welcome, Thank you for um, hosting this platform. Um, looking forward to uh, saying, sharing my spoken word. I'm actually, or not originally, a spoken word artist. This is my first spoken word. I've kind of used it as, um, it, it was a result of kind of just me analyzing the last 20 years of my life and moving forward how I can kind of use what I've learned from those last 20 years and move forward in a positive um, outlook, I guess. So yeah, I will start. Actually, I wanna breathe first. So if every, anyone's down to like do like a quick breathing thing with me, I, I'm just gonna breathe in through my nose, out with my mouth in through my mouth and out through my nose. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start. Um, growing up, I felt like an outcast. Cast away for being different. Cast away because I couldn't connect on the same level. My thinking was different. My actions were different. Maybe it was the color of my skin. Maybe it was my looks my height, the food that I ate, the things that I didn't know, and the things I couldn't relate. I didn't truly understand social norms at that point. I questioned everything and analyzed like I had no choice. It took up my energy and my battery is limited. But I will not assume the reasons for why I felt cast aside. I will not use the color of my skin, my sex, my height and my shape, the formation of my face as an excuse not to appreciate. I recognize that regardless of the physical form that I take, it was because I was different. I redirected the foolish, foolishness, redirected the hate towards myself, and I hardened my shell. In isolation, I've stripped away the inhibitions that kept me at bay. I empower myself to express myself the way that I want, and I want it this way. I will no longer sit still. I'm choosing to grow. I choose my environment and I'm going with the flow. I'm crossing this ocean, heading straight for the waves. Because no matter how high, I pave my own way. To those who are hurt, I pray. To those who want hate, I pray. Yet I hope we all face the same way towards love and light we are safe and that is my spoken word I call it love uh, and light beyond the waves and just it was a result of many things aside of, from COVID happening in my life and um, just kind of me reanalyzing um, how I interact with my environment, just the fact that I felt different, but now starting to embrace that and just not not feel the need to to find validation in others, but give the validation to myself and just enjoy the things that I love to do. And you know, there are people out there that are hurt. And there are people that are, are out there as a result of that hurt that want to cause hate. And all I can do is pray for all those people and, you know, just continuing to send love and light. So, yeah, that's my spoken word. Love and light beyond the waves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Sienna. And at the age of 20, to be cognizant and to be mindful and aware of that uh, notion and, and mindset in and of itself. I think there's something really special and beautiful about that. And to be having those internal conversations with yourself as well too. 
couple of lines that definitely stood out to me. Um, but you know, just to add to just to add to that, like I think this introspection of like looking inward, asking those questions about your identity, there's something really special about doing so. And I think there's other young women like you who are also navigating, you know, similar issues and similar situations. But you've done a great job of kind of transforming this painful experience with some painful experiences into an opportunity. So I commend you and I want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, for sharing. Thank you for being present and thank you for, for performing your first time here at RISE as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Um, keep grinding, keep writing, you know, keep writing, keep writing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So we'll keep it going. And uh, Sienna, if you'd like, you know, we, we're always a community about connecting and, and letting people uh, not even letting, but creating a platform for folks to connect with one another. And so with that being said, uh, I'm going to ask you to just put your IG or your Instagram if you'd like to. And of course, anyone who wants to connect, feel free. But we're going to continue with the show.